Hey, what's up, guys? If you haven't seen my first video, it's gonna be the link's gonna be right there. And last time I left on, off on it, for those who haven't seen my first video, I'll go along and play the part I left off. And this song is tuned down in E flat. And you start from E5, you're going to play it twice, and you're going to hit open on the A string, hammer on the second, hit D open, and you're going to play an A5 twice, and you'll play the second fret of the A string, hammer off, hammer back on the second, I'll go back and play that slowly. And you're going to play the 7th fret of the D e string. Pull off to the 5th fret. Play the 7th fret of the E string. Hit the 5th fret of the D e string again. Slide down to the 4th. Hit the 7th fret of the E string again. Then slide down to 5. So I'll play that part slowly. And this part that I'm teaching is the last part that does that riff. And you're going to play a G, an F sharp, an F, and an E5. So I'll play that whole last part slowly. And on the E5, you play it twice, and you palm mute it at the same time. Just gonna play that dun dun part three times. Then it's gonna play the. You're gonna palm mute the seventh fret of the A string, and play it twice. Palm mute the fifth fret of the D string. Then put palm me the seventh fret of the A string again. Play it twice again, and then you're gonna palm me the fifth fret of the A string and play it twice. I'll play that one more time. Then it's gonna go into an E5 a lot, and it's gonna play with this rhythm. It'll have a rhythm like dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun. I'll show you what it's like. Then you're gonna play the temper of the A string, 12D and 12G. So you're gonna play 10 A string 12. D, 12D, hit it twice, then you're gonna like click strings that you pull me, and then you're gonna play that part again twice. Then you're gonna go into E5 again. So after that, you're gonna start going into that rhythm pattern with an A5. And you're gonna start going into that starting at the end. G, G, A, D. E5 twice. G twice. Then A in that strumming pattern. pattern. E5 twice. Except this time you don't go into that lick on the 7th fret. You keep on playing that rhythm with an A. E5 twice. A. And then this time you're gonna play a 
C. And then D. And then you're going to start going to the... Because I pretty much sung the whole Lay Down Priestess song. Um, so I'm going to go and skip ahead to the solo. You're going to start on the D string. You're going to slide up to the 14th fret. And you're going to play the bend the 14th fret of the G string. Then once you've released, you play the 14th fret again. 12. Bend, release, and then pull up to 12 on 14. Then play 14th fret of the D string twice. Then play the 14th fret of the G string. Bend it again. And bend the release. Then to the 12th. And then bend the 14th fret again. Then you're going to play the 14th fret of the D string again. The only difference between this part is this time you're going to play the 17th fret of the B string. So on that you bend the 17th fret of the B string. Bend it again. Then you use your pinky finger behind the of fingers and you play the 17th fret of the E string. Then you once you bend the 17th, release back to the 15th fret of the E string. Then you go into E5, G, A. And that's pretty much the whole lay down precious song. I'm song.